<laughs> well, <coughs> day five. Today we slept in. The night for me and Mitch wasn't that great. The wind really never died down. Only in, like right now it's kind of finally settled down. I'm doing some transfer. Mitch is doing the gas, transferring some gas. We're running low. We already ate breakfast and ready to pack everything and uh, get out of here. Well, camp is pretty much torn down. Just brushing our teeth and washing our faces. And something we didn't consider when we made camp is that rock right there. From the looks of it, it could just fall down and tumble over all over our camp. So, we'll have to keep an eye out for that yeah, in our future references.
those are wild mustangs. There's a huge population lift them uh, lives out here in this area. It's called Red Desert. like African savanna, all different species. All we need is buffalo and like Wyoming and that stuff. Just find a cow. That white cow is a pain in the rear. It's carrying them all. He wants to come and meet them. You said it, it was a calf? Yeah, it's a youngster. It's the curious one. Might not live very long. I thought the lead, lead elk is to the left, right? Yeah. So patient. Those horses are just a pain. <laughs> they have their own that little dynamics that's going on. It's not that much smaller than a horse. figure they're not gonna let them in so they can go somewhere else. I'm just gonna go around.
All right, we're in the area where it's called Kilpecker Dunes. Interesting name to begin with, but um, they are the largest living dunes or second largest in the world. and uh, we'll see where our next camping stop is going to be. Well, day five is winding down. We found this camping site by the Green River. It's a decent sized river. Beautiful surrounding. The only drawback, and there's always drawback, uh, is the mosquitoes. It's kind of marshy, swampy a little bit area, so the mosquitoes are in force. Hopefully with the smoke from the fire, we'll keep them at bay and we'll have nice resting evening. How the mosquitoes throw? Killer. Killer? Yes, they are. And I guess that's why I prefer to camp in the winter, late fall. Summer is definitely comfortable, temperatures are better, leaves are out, but I guess I prefer snow. Catherine is laboring on dinner. We took a min minimalistic approach, approach to food this camping trip. Basically dried, nuts, dried fruits, beef jerky, those soups, just to see how, if we can go on for a week. Of course, kind of takes away a little bit of joy of camping. It would be nice to have shish kebabs and that kind of stuff, but it's fifth day and everybody's holding up just fine. Mitch is staking the tent, we decided against 
putting the rain, rain fly on it. I don't think, we don't think it's going to rain, but it seems like it's uh, probably the hottest place so far that we stopped at in the entire state of Wyoming. And we're getting pretty close to the western border. To, tomorrow, well, depending, if we, if, we, if we take an extra day to camp, in the mountains by Afton, we'll um, we'll finish on uh, tomorrow's what Wednesday. Yeah, so we'll finish it at, on Friday. If we decide to just get to the water and go, get home, then it's going to be shorter. But um, here, here is what the camp looks like with the fire, mosquitoes, and the smoke. Mosquitoes is dope, but not much. But it's tolerable. Catherine actually said that she would take the wind and a desert. <laughs> not me. I can. I do not. I cannot stand the wind. So I think um, I'll live with mosquitoes. Mitch, how about you? What? You pretty grouchy with mosquito ordeal? I think he is. Well, I thought that I'm getting out there enough, but apparently not. I don't know how visible it's going to be on the camera, but I have a pretty bad sunburn on my wrist on my wrist <laughs> but yeah hopefully it's not going to cause any more inconvenience than otherwise it's it's a good good trip all of us are enjoying it <laughs> some secretly Well, I think I've said it earlier, day five is winding down. We are all nice and fed. A lot has transpired in this day. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful country. True Wyoming for, I guess, the stereotypes that are made. Open range bunch of uh, government land with access so we didn't have any problem of finding uh, any dirt, dirt roads this uh, uh, today came across quite a f uh, came across a bunch of wildlife have seen desert elk uh, just beautiful, beautiful specimens. There was uh, six bucks with uh, bulls. Huh? I think they got bulls. Right. There was uh, six bulls with velvet still on their horns. They haven't shed it yet. Bunch of wild horses. Bunch of antelope. We made it to the Green River. Camping at this beautiful beautiful sight anyway it was a good day covered a lot of miles um, looking to tomorrow well let tomorrow take care of, of itself but uh, right now we're just relaxing listen to the birds sing looking down the river flowing by just having a good time. Five days on, we're not tired of it. It's been a wonderful experience. As far as the vehicle, um, everything works as it's supposed to. There was a couple of times where we dragged our um, exhaust pipe, which from the beginning we had the intention of rerouting it behind uh, behind the rear wheels but uh, and of course another problem is there was a couple of issues with that exhaust fitting in 
and that can be uh, seen in the video where we were installing the, the exhaust but there is one particular place where it was resting on the arm that supports the rock sliders and uh, after all this jarring ride on the dirt roads it, it got settled so now it's it vibrates against that arm and uh, creates a, a little bit of a knocking noise other than that we went oh well um, we kind of touched the kilt darker dunes uh, from this video it cannot be seen how incredible those dunes are and like I said I think I've, I've mentioned it before yesterday most of the people that even live in Wyoming don't realize those dunes are out there um, we didn't get to the the large dunes um, I had a video where I went there um, in a couple of years ago on the Hummer actually we went there with with a Toyota also but we didn't we didn't get to the large dunes this time around we end up um, going farther south in order to make this this campsite kind of ran out of time also we uh, end up uh, going to uh, Bors, Bors task basically rock uh, coming out from from the ground uh, very uh, interesting site um, the rest of it Oh, it's going to be on the video, just open range, beautiful, beautiful scenery. L really different from a lot of places uh, in this country or around the world. Western United States is very unique. You, you, you can be going down, down range in a high desert and all of a sudden there will be uh, all this formation uh, coming out from the ground. The rock formation and sandstone and um, so that's that's it for day five we'll continue on day six tomorrow and we'll see if we will cross the mountain to mountains to Afton or we can before that well I guess we'll decide tomorrow so until tomorrow good night